Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Sea of Stars. No lie, I've literally just been sitting here for like half an hour just listening to this music. It's so good. We're climbing the glacial peak in search of a mysterious artifact. No clue what it is, what it does, or where it is exactly, but we're getting closer. And we're going to keep searching. Can I jump on this? No. So I say let's just keep going. See what new power we unlock once we find it. Seriously, this music, I'm just bobbing my head the whole time. Uh, is this the way to go? Yes. Okay. Oh! Once again, turning this into a one way path. Another one of those things that's broken. Can't do anything with this. Are we here? I think we are. <laughs> Carl's like, uh, I'm out of here. Whatever this is, it's neat looking. Got the Solstice Amulet. So much energy. It's the same kind of power as... How do we get out of here? This block could be melted, but the Celestial Rune is busted. They can now use their powers without the Celestial Rune. Ah, she looks so shocked. Solstice power. Find the Solstice Amulet. You can now control the time of day with R2 and L2 without needing to stand on a Celestial Rune. Well, those runes were useful for a little bit. Now they're pointless. Look at that. They're working together to do this. Whoa! So you can just do this at will now? The amulet's resonance with our magic is really strong. We got what we needed. Let's go back to Rashan. So these are pointless now. How cool is that? Let's make ourselves even stronger. And on our way back... Let's see. What happens with this? Does it... Can we shine on this? Ah! Oh, it's like, maybe when it's shining the moonlight on it, it affects it. Let's see. Oh, might as well just blow them up. Ooh, switch. Sweet. And let us through. This is going to open up a whole bunch of new uh, puzzles and stuff we can do. So let's get back here. Uh, we haven't fought anything since those acolytes. Um, aha! There we go. That worked out surprisingly well. Uh, I could jump down. I don't think I want to do that yet. Let me look around. Okay, yeah, nothing to see over there. Oh, wait a second. I don't want to jump down yet, because this looks like it can slide. You know what? Let's have it pointed up like this. I'm going to preemptively get it set up, because I have a feeling... Oh, I didn't have it aimed quite right. That's fine. Let us in there. Get some free stuff. Signet of Clarity. What's that do? That is incredible. Who do I want that on? Um, honestly, I, I use Moonerang with you so often. Eh, the Leeching Thorn's not as big a deal. I'll give that to Garl. Since he does normal attacks and his attack power is up. Alright, so this... Alright, 
what does this do? And if I just move them both, something good? Ah, now it's movable. Fantastic. All right, let's break the, um, actually let's move you first. Okay. Now it's not close enough to do that, so I gotta go here. Melt this. Fantastic. I'll take that. This is neat. I love being able to kind of manipulate all this stuff. Mm, no, wait. I want... Yeah, because it's got to be sunlight to melt the ice and moonlight to break the rocks. Garl and Sarai learn combo skill item roulette. Neat. Garl picks a random item for a special effect. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, let's take this over here. Let's see. And that's good enough. All right, before I go down there, let me walk around and look over to the right here. Nothing more to find over here. All right. It's going to lead us to the rainbow shell. Oh, and a shortcut back up. Yes. I have a feeling, yes, rainbow shell. Maybe that's what I'll call them from now on. All right, back up. Cause I can't remember if there's anything we missed off to the left here. Nice that the enemies don't seem to have respawned. Uh, nope, nothing up here that I want yet. I want to look down here. No. Okay, now I look up here. Oh, this was just the campfire. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm going to take that shortcut back down. There was nothing else to find over this way. All right, slide on down. Whee! Don't get rug burn from or rope burn from the ladders. Actually, can I just hop down here? I can. I'm gonna say a thing. This type of portal looks very familiar if you've played the messenger. Let's go to the archives. the archivist be one of the first of the order? You have returned. Congratulations. Will you help us get to Mesa Island now? You were just there a few moments ago. Uh, apparently the Glacier Peak is on Mesa Island. Is this the way then? We just go back and hike down the mountain? Hiking Glacial Peak on foot? Only an animal would do that. Ah, that picture! Will you accept one final challenge? If you succeed, I promise I will help. We're in a hurry! You said... I know, I know. Hear me out. The only way to remove the barrier is to wake the giant stone head. I can make the potion for you, but brewing it requires centuries of maceration. Centuries? That's useless! That is why I need you to recover my personal alchemy bottle, the Vial of Time. Within it, I can control time itself. Bring it back to me, and I'll prepare what you need in mere seconds. No way! Alright, where can we find your vial of time? 
A foral hid it somewhere on Watcher Island a long time ago. All I know for certain is that the giant statue from which the island got its name is the key. How can you be sure? A foral's tricks always involve big statues. Eventually, I figured he would have to stop if I never recovered my vial. But here we are in need of it. This is ridiculous. Call it what you will, but I recommend you take this task seriously, for it will be very trying. Sure, whatever. We're ready. Then go to the northern part of Watcher Island and perform the cleansing of Torment Peak. The... wait. Cleansing? There's a dweller here? Of course. It may be just a prank, but a foral played it himself. But without their powers augmented by... Yes? The Solstice Amulet. That's what the Solstice Amulet is really for, isn't it? Precisely. It may be old, but its magic has yet to fade. Face the Dweller of Torment with conviction, and the amulet will resonate. The power to conjure an eclipse? Alright, we can do this. Torment Peak afflicts the mind in devilish ways, but you deserve a fighting chance. Here. Go on. Drink. What is it? One dose of tethered mind potion for each of you. Come on now, bottoms up. I don't feel any different. And thanks to this potion, you will be able to say the same after spending time in that wicked place. I thought you couldn't help directly. It is but a little nudge. Surely this can stay between us. Thanks, Rashan. We'll be back with the Vial of Time. Feel free to use this portal for quick travel between here and Lake Docaria. I will be watching. Good luck. Got a couple portals. Uh, Glacial Peak? Nope. Did you say anything else? Same thing. Alright, let's go back to Dakari Village. What a ride. Ah, and that's what this little platform area is for. It was kind of conspicuously blank last time. Wee! All right, I want to go back to the village because I want to trade in the rainbow conks. Conscious. I don't know. I'll look it up some point. <laughs> I swear I will. Fishing hut plans. Uh, let's see. Something shrewd is next with four more of them. Did I ever talk to you? Good day, adventurers. Might you help an old man out? Maybe. What's the matter? It's my three grandkids. They wanted to play hide-and-seek, and, well, I simply cannot find them. They have a habit of hiding in random inner chambers, and being from an older generation, I find myself quite unwilling to barge into other people's homes. If you could find them for me, I'd be forever grateful. Well, sure. I guess, yeah, we never did talk to him, so... Let's do a quick exploration and see if we can find them. Seriously, the weird little modes of transportation here are so fun. Uh, no. Oh, wait, here we go. Hey, who are you? We're here on behalf of your grandpa. Oh, so he sent you? Yes. Out time. I was getting bored. Well, I win. Okay, one of three. I know where, I remember where I saw one other, I don't remember which house it was, but I don't recall seeing the third. Well, we'll keep searching. Help this poor old man out. Actually, is the kid there? Nope. Doesn't actually show up yet. Uh, I doubt there was, I don't think there was a way. Wait, can we walk past this? 
Oh, right. That's how we got to uh, the tower. My part has been played. Godspeed and safe journeys. All right. Maybe in the item shop. Cute music. All right, uh, let's check here. Oh, there's a kid. Hello. Hey, your grandpa sent us to find you. He gives up. Oh, he's getting more and more tired every day. That's no fun. Guess I win. And I'm guessing this is just leading us to that chest that's not going to have another kid this far in. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Go away, you're ruining my hiding spot. Hey, your grandpa asked us to find you. Really? But I want to play with him. I think you got a little too good at hiding. He gives up. Ah, I'm the best. Okay, so the kid... Oh, wait. The kid I'm remembering was the woman's daughter or woman's son so i think these guys only showed up when oh look they're running around okay that's fun you have my thanks i do love my little fellas but they can be quite a strain on these old knees here for your troubles i suggest you turn these into our local entrepreneur she carries quite the inventory well might as well just turn it in while I'm here, although it's not enough for another reward. Would have been funny if I could have done this last time and actually had, you know, hit that 22. Alright, so we need to head back up. And we have to do Torment Peak, but I'm remembering something on the pathway leading up here that was a big giant stone statue like a stone head so i'm gonna head and go see if i can find that again there was definitely something i think on the jungle path let's see if i can find it again Uh, I think it was before this. Ooh, I'll grab these. I hope I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with you. Oh, I am going to mess with you. All right, fine. Moonarang. Let's break this. Good. You. Carl, defeat him. That went nice and smoothly. Mm, wait, can I just drop down here? No, I can't. Aha! This is what I was remembering. And sure enough, we got one that we can affect here. Okay. Oh, light beam. Okay. So now we got to go over here. Aha. It's about to say these things that I could turn before. Now I've got to actually run away. Okay. That'll shoot it up. This one, I'll then need to shoot this way, and that should do it. All right, so raise these up. Okay, and now spin it around. Okay, we did it just in time. 
I knew I remembered this thing was here. Oh, hello. You know what? Sure. Let's fight y'all. Ah, uh, sure. Let's... Since we're hitting all three of you, let's boost this. Hold for power! Oh, yeah. Good hit, good hit, and... Goodbye. That went very well. Ooh, treasure chest. Lucent Crystal. That's another special accessory. Generates one more boost charge when initiating combat, attack, or grapple. Oh, cool. Um, I'm going to give that to you. I know Garl's hanging out with us. I'm actually curious, if you're not in the party, if that will still have an effect. Yay, rainbow. All right. Now, I think we actually want to go head to Torment Peak. Let's see. Oh, hello. Did I somehow not grab you? So, you've seen me wander through this. Um, I'm going to see you back on the world map. See you in a minute. All right, so... We need to get up to the Torment Peak, so it's the other side of Lake Docaria, which as much as I want to stop by and drop off that rainbow shell, there's no need for it right now. Uh, I was like, how did we get past? Right, going up this way. Why don't we see what this horrible, awful Torment Peak place has in store for us? Huh? Oh, wait up here actually can i okay can't do anything with that seriously that giant statue wait oh i forgot i can control it out here or not forgot but um realize that now i can control it out here too which is so neat all right why don't we take a look and see what awaits us here hmm okay light this up And this one. Cool statues. I'm guessing we have to push these onto their platforms. Sure enough. Open the way. No turning back now. Right behind you. Torment Peak. And you know what? With this foreboding, creepy music here, I think this is exactly where we're going to leave it off for this episode. Next time, we're exploring this apparently twisted hellscape of a place that'll mess with our minds. Thank goodness the... Archivist Rashawn gave us a potion to keep our wits about us. But I have no idea what waits ahead. I have a feeling it's going to be fun. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure to click like and hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time.